I'm Mary, a librarian turned book reviewer with a focus on stories written for kids, tweens, and teens. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about Hannah Saves the World by A. Anne Lusiter. So this is the story about a girl named Hannah who is a little bit unconventional. Uh, she likes to wear a blue lipstick and sometimes a pink feather boa, and she's a little bit more in tune to her surroundings than maybe some other people are. So she and her best friend, Mia, are off on an adventure. You see, Hannah has woken up one day with the feeling that the world needs to be saved. She doesn't know what the imminent threat might be, but she knows that it's up to her to solve it. So she invites Mia along with her on her adventure. Now, along the way, they find out that there's been some vandalism at a local playground, and it's not really clear that the person who's been framed for the crime actually committed it. So she and Mia are about to set this straight. Now, they don't know if this is actually going to save the world, but unbeknownst to them, there are some aliens plotting to take over the Earth because they want it as a new vacation location. However, oxygen is very dangerous to them, so they're trying to get all of the oxygen out of the atmosphere so that they can live there. Now, Hannah doesn't know that she's doing this, but a lot of the things that she does in trying to solve her mystery are thwarting the aliens' efforts. So it's a lot of fun. These girls are off to set the record straight for one of their community members and also save the world along the way. If you are a fan of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, a lot of the writing in this feels very familiar. So a lot of it's kind of talking to the audience, like this is something maybe you should know, or this is um, a way that this, uh, the aliens are communicating with each other, and <laughs> this is what it means. And, it's maybe not appropriate language, so we're not going to interpret it here, that kind of conversation. So it's really great interaction for the reader. Now, it is best suited to an older middle grade audience, maybe a more comfortable middle grade audience, particularly because there's a, quite a lot of text on each page. There are occasional illustrations, but it's not really meant to break up the text. It's mostly to tell readers what something in the book might look like. So one of those would be this one. So it's kind of at the end of the chapter and it tells you a little bit about the character. But if you were to read this aloud, it'll be uproariously funny for readers, even if they're not reading it to themselves. So if you've got some younger middle grade readers or ones who aren't super confident yet, choosing this as a read aloud for the classroom would be really fun. There are a lot of really silly words and some hijinks that happen in this story that would be really entertaining for readers. So if you're looking for a fun, lighthearted, silly, quirky middle grade book, the first in its series, check out Hannah Saves the World, and you can find it at your favorite bookstore.